country. Let's get more on this with Ali Shihabi. He's the founder of the Arabia Foundation. He's joining us from Washington. Ali, thank you very much for joining us. You uh, know you. Mohammed bin Salman. You have close relations with him. How does he want to improve American uh, Saudi Arabia's relationship with the Trump administration? What does he want from the Trump administration? Well, look, Saudi Arabia always has to have close relations with an American government. And Prince Mohammed has worked very hard to have close relationships with the Trump administration, as previous monarchies have worked to have with every other administration. And the relations are very close. There's a meeting of minds, I think, on, on things like Iran, uh, Saudi Arabia and the U.S. and the White House are on the same page. Uh, and, you know, Prince Mohammed is, is overhauling the country uh, in the economy. Uh, he has a lot of ambitious economic plans. Uh, American business has a big role to play in that. He's coming to America to, uh, uh, to you know, interact with a lot of business leaders all across the country. Uh, some of them, Saudi Arabia, will be investing in their companies through its public investment fund. But many others, it's inviting to invest and participate in, you know, Vision 2030, which is the master so plan. Uh, to restructure the Saudi economy. So there's a lot on the table so, uh, and a lot of shared interests, yeah. really. So that's what the Saudis want from this relationship. What they don't want is criticism of Saudi Arabia's war in Yemen. Uh, there is this resolution in the U.S. Senate going forward. There is a lot of criticism from Congress about the role that Saudi Arabia is playing in Yemen, particularly the fact that something like 5,000 civilians have died in that war. Shouldn't Mohammed bin Salman be answering those questions when he's in America as well? Well, look, this uh, resolution in, in Congress, it's a bit of domestic politics getting mixed up with foreign policy because also the senators are using that to try and restrict the War Powers um, Act and the power of the president to commit forces overseas. So they're really using this subject more to control the presidency uh, than particularly focusing on the Yemen issue. Now, look, Yemen is a tragedy. Uh, wars are tragedies, and, and Saudi Arabia is aware of that and is going out of its way to try and address some of the humanitarian problems that are there. But Saudi Arabia's security has been threatened. It, it sees a, a militia allied to Iran growing on its southern border, and it felt it had to take action. Now, people who, you know, are not threatened or are far away from that border can afford to be more... Um, you know, more judgmental about it. But I think if your security is threatened as a government, you feel you have a responsibility to act. And wars, unfortunately, um, you know, always cause uh, human suffering. Okay. Ali Shahabi, thank you very much for joining us there. Um, important visit, important issues.